This exhibition explores the subjectivity of seeing and the importance of perspective. So we have exhibits like Screen Mutations by Louisa Zaharias, where she's created sculptures that are distorted as much as possible in three dimensions, while still looking like normal kitchen objects from one single perspective, that of the CCTV camera positioned beside the exhibit and shown on the screen behind me. Perspective can reveal the truth about what you're looking at and it can also be a powerful storytelling technique in video and photography. So what we've got here is we've got two of these boxes. These are collimation devices. They're, they're unusual ways of uh, projecting images in that we're not looking at a screen directly. We're looking through a curved mirror at a curved screen that's up here somewhere. And what that does is it allows our eyes to focus um, about 12 meters into the box, which of course isn't that deep. But over time, this guy will get closer and that guy will get further away and they'll move backwards and forwards. As that happens, we find ourselves beginning to engage with the expressions and the responses of the person that's closer to the voices around us. And the other person becomes objectified and seen as the silhouette on the horizon. And that shift and our ability to choose who it is that we feel is the person we empathize with and the person that we objectify is really the root of this exhibition. It, it was based on two trips to Pakistan, to Islamabad, and spending time in the diplomatic enclave. The world's community was all present, but they had entered a situation of being very defensive and possibly slightly paranoid about the risks beyond the enclave. What's interesting here is we're focusing on the guards. The only people we ever see are the guards, and the only people we hear are the people that are officially ex experts or employed to offer analysis. And maybe in some ways, it, it's an attempt to invert the assumption of who are the points, the people that we should be spending our time engaged with. The people came here to the gallery and they see these monitors and this cable, you know, then they see uh, white uh, light monitors. And when they take the, the magnifying glasses and look through, that First, in this moment, they're able to see the, the image or the video inside. Because I like to change something very simple in a system, what looks for us very difficult. I put here a polarized filter, what I remove it first from the surface, from, from the monitor. So in this small change, what I make, it's push the people to think about how we see and what you see.